Good evening, Guillermo and Marlon. Good, Good evening, evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. For the moment, teacher, no voy a encender la cámara porque voy caminando. Que recién me acabo de bajar, que vengo del trabajo. Okay, Marlon. Good evening, Claudia. Good evening, teacher. Como que no se ha recuperado todavía, ¿verdad? Sí, todavía ando un poco afónica, que no se me quiere quitar. Yo tengo una compañera que igual ya tiene, que, pero ella ya va como por un mes. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Sí, yo ya voy a tener como dos semanas, quizás así. Mami, te voy a esta Bye. Good evening. Evelyn and Marixa. Good evening. Good evening, Sarah and Marvin. Okay, guys, let's begin. Welcome to this weekend and welcome to this Monday. Okay, this day is difficult, <laughs> people say, I don't know why, but uh, because they say it's the first day of the week. But for me, it's more energetic than the rest. For me, the difficult day is Friday. Okay, and mostly these days that uh, we have celebrations, religious celebrations on the streets. Okay, it's kind of noisy. Okay, so let's begin the topic for today. I hope that you have a good weekend, by the way, and you relax and rest. Now let's begin. Okay, today we begin the unit number two. And the topic is how to use frequency adverbs. This topic is related with the ones that we studied last week related to simple present. Because in simple present, we use frequency adverbs. Actually, in some sentences that we practice the Simple present, there were some frequency adverbs. Okay, the name of the unit is ongoing activities in the workplace. Ongoing activities in the workplace. We continue with activities, but it re this is gonna be related to, in this case, with adverbs. But what is the main objective of this class? Identify and use other of frequency. That is the only topic. 
the only objective that we are going to consider is identifying use upper of frequency. Okay, let's begin with this short vocabulary. Okay, this is very short. We don't have new words, not, you know, not many new words today. Okay, the question is how often do you, the, you know this question, right? I include it here because it's gonna be one of the questions that we are going to consider in the topic. When you say, how often do you, it's because you are asking about frequency. How often? Con cuanta frecuencia, right? And then you say the frequency. Second, how often as I can? When you say, this is how often as I can, tan frecuente como pueda. Okay, something like that. Work over time. When you say this is because you, like you work extra hours. The normal hours, average is eight hours a day. Right? Then you work 10 hours, you have two extra hours, and then you work overtime. Get late. Okay, when you go to work, when you are late because the traffic something, then you get late. You get late to work. Okay, repeat everybody. How often do you? How often do you? How often do you? How often do you? How often as I can? How often as I can? How often as I can? Work overtime. Work, work overtime. Get late. Get late. Sometimes I a little bad in my throat too. Okay, get late. Get late. Get late. Okay, here we have the activities that we are going to see in this unit. But only the ones that are in the manual, okay? Because you are going to add your activities. Okay, this is get up, try to work, have breakfast, use microwave, use a microwave, call clients, the same, right? Call clients or receive phone calls. This is... The picture can you say call clients, contact clients, receive phone calls, make phone calls, all of them can you make. Okay, here is have a conference. This is a conference, have a conference and go to bed. The, the first activity during the day is get up. The last activity during the day is go to bed. Okay, only if you go to the sofa, right? But the normally that you go to bed. Okay, repeat everybody, get up. Get up. Get up. Go to work. Go to work. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Use a, use a microwave. Use, use a microwave. Use a microwave. Call clients. Call clients. Call clients. Have a conference. Have a conference. Have a conference. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go, go to, to bed. bed. You can say go to bed or you can join the words and say go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Okay, I prefer go to bed. Go to bed. Es como ir a la cama. Yes. Okay. Now, Guillermo, say this, please. Get up. Drive to work. Have breakfast. Use a microwave. Um, uh, call clients. Um, go to a conference. No, have a conference. And have a conference. And go to bed. Yes. Sarah? Get up. 
go to work. And drive to work. Drive to work. Drive. Maneja el trabajo. Drive uh -huh. to work. Drive to work. Drive to work. Drive to work. Have a coffee? No, have Uh, have breakfast. <laughs> have breakfast. Have breakfast. Tomar el desayuno. Okay. Have breakfast. Only I I show you this because in the manual there is no the other two, but we have three meals during the day, right? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And the same you can say have breakfast, have lunch, and have dinner. But in this case, it's breakfast. A breakfast. Uh -huh. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. This? All right. It's a, uh, I don't know, teacher. I'm Use a sure. microwave. Use, Use a microwave. Use a microwave. A microwave. This? And client? Call clients. Call clients. Ok, Sara, siempre las actividades están acompañadas de un verbo. Okay? Siempre comienzan con un verbo. Así, okay. solita va las actividades. Y en inglés ustedes ven Why actividades, cool. ven actividades del trabajo, ven actividades diarias personales, ven actividades de entretenimiento, ven actividades de la casa y ven actividades mm, de... Me lo voy a dar okay. Entonces, cool. siempre, ajá. Call, call clients. Call clients. Call, call, call clients. Client. Yes. Pero call. Call. Es llamada al cliente. Call clients. Yes, call clients. Okay. And this. Conference. <laughs> have, have a, a conference. Have, have a, a conference. conference. And this. Guru bed. Guru bed. Guru bed. Okay, okay, get up. Go to a uh, drive to work, right. have, have a breakfast, have breakfast, breakfast use a microwave, microwave, call, call clients, clients, have, have a, a conference, conference and go to, go bed. to bed. Go to bed. Okay, continue. Okay, frequency adverts. Frequency adverts. Use frequency adverts to say how frequently. An activity happens. And if they are used to give a um, focus of frequency, you have to see the frequency. <laughs> okay. They are um, measured by percentages. For example, this is the 100%, 100%, 90%, 80%, 70%, 50%, 30%, 10%, 5%, and 0%. Okay. Look at the adverbs according to the frequency. Okay. And don't ask in Spanish, please. So try to imagine the frequency when you say that. If it is the 10%, the 100% is always. 90% usually. 80% normally. 70% often. 50% sometimes. 30% occasionally. 10% seldom, 5% hardly ever or rarely, 0% never. Okay, examples of using the frequency adverbs. Okay, how do you use them? Look at the examples. Here you have, I always get up at five o'clock. He usually drives to work. He no, uh, she normally checks her email. I often have breakfast at work. She sometimes uses the microwave. I occasionally work overtime. We seldom take calls at work. He rarely has conferences. I never get late to work. Okay, so everybody, let's practice the pronunciation of this. First, the frequency, then the others. Then the example. Okay, begin. 
50%. Listen the pronunciation of this number because some people say city, something like that. City or something. It's 30. 30. 30. 30%. 30%. 30%. 10%. 10%. 10%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 0%. 0%. 0%. 0%. 0%. 0%. 0%. 0%. 0%. 0%. 0%. 0%. 0%. 0%. 0%. 0
Never. Never. Okay, Never. now repeat the this sentences. I always get up at five o'clock. I, I always get up, up at five, five o'clock. He usually drives to work. He, he usually, usually drives drive to work. She normally checks her email. She normally, she normally checks her email. Her email. I often have breakfast at work. I often, I often have, have breakfast at work. work. She sometimes uses the microwave. She sometimes uses the microwave. I occasionally work overtime. I occasionally work overtime. We seldom take calls at work. We, we seldom take calls at work. at work. He rarely has conferences. He rarely, he rarely has, conferences. has conferences. 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 Conferences only singular. Conferences ah. is plural. I never get late to work. I, I never, never get, get late to work. To work. work. Okay, now I'm going to pass the attendance right now because I need to call for this participation by by the name of attendance. Okay, Adi Beatriz? No, right. Ana Cristina? Present teacher. Claudia Marcela? Present teacher. Doris Alejandra? Present. Evelyn Karina? Present teacher. Fatima Fabiola. Present teacher. Graciela. Graciela Saray. Present. Guillermo. Present. Isamar Andrea. Present teacher. Ay, finally, I know you, Isamar. <laughs> your, the first time I see your face. Okay. Eh, Jose Alexander, Carla Janet, Maritza Elizabeth, Present, Ma eh, Marlon, Kat Katia, I omitted Katy. Okay. Katy, yes. Eh, Marlon is present. Marvin, present teacher. Patrick. Raquel, Raquel, I saw Raquel, present, who is driving, Susana Carolina, yes, present teacher, Rosalie, present, and Suara, present. present teacher, Okay, now, according to the, the name, first is Ana Cristina, okay? You read the frequency over in the example. Exa okay, I'm gonna uh, do the example and you follow the example, okay? 100%, always, I always get up at five o'clock, okay? First, Ana Cristina. Always read frequency over an exam. Ana Cristina, are you participating? Okay, so let's go to Claudia Marcela. Okay, do it, Claudia. Always uh, leave my work at 5 p.m. o'clock. Uh, you forgot to read the frequency. Ah, um, the one hundred percent. I, Albert is always, and the example is I always leave my work at five p.m. o'clock. Mm, okay, good example. But only read it in this moment. Only read it. Ah, yeah. okay. Uh huh. Later, <laughs> you are going to make your own. 
Sí, entonces. Ah, okay. No I se preocupe, ya va a tener up. tiempo para practicar, ya va a ver. Ok, I only this. Uh -huh. Get up at five o'clock. Thank you. Ok, Doris, usually. Okay. 19% usually. He usually drives to work. Ok, you usually. Usually. 90%. Evelyn, normally. 80% normally. She normally takes her email. Fatima, often. I often have a breakfast at, at work. And what is the frequency? 70% often. often. An example. Okay, it's often. 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 Yeah. An example, you already said it. Thank you. Uh, Guillermo, oh no, Graciela is. Graciela, sometimes. Fifty percent. The arbor is sometimes, and the example is she sometimes uses the microwave. Very good, Guillermo. Occasionally, occasionally. Okay, frequency is thirty uh, percent, and the adverb is occasionally. And the example is, I occasionally work overtime. Thank you, Guillermo. Isamar, I don't know if Isamar is going to participate because... Okay, she didn't answer the present. And next is Kathy. Read about seldom. Okay, frequency, 10%. Uh, seldom. Uh, we seldom take calls at work. Uh -huh. Take calls at work. And Marlon, hardly ever. Frequency 5%, hardly ever, rarely, he rarely has conferences. 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 It's plural, right? Conferences. And zero percent is gonna say it, Marvin. Uh, the frequency, frequency zero percent adverb never. The example I never get late to work. Okay, Raquel say always. With frequency, a very example of always. Yeah. Always get up at 15 o'clock. Always. In the, in the percentage? Um, se me ha ido. Uh, it's 100. 100. 100%. Uh -huh. And the other is? Always. Okay. Rosalie, say it about usually. Frequency, 90% usually, advert usually. Example, he usually drives to work. Hey, Zara, say about normally. Frequency, 18%. Advert normally. Example, she normally checks her emails. Okay, she normally checks her email. Okay, now look at this. The position of frequency offers. Okay, you have to be very clear uh, in every grammar that we explain about verbs and about structures that we always have to see the verb to be apart from the other verbs. Okay, because they function differently in the way that the verb to be doesn't need an auxiliary. 
in sometimes in some structures eh, eh, the some words are different in the position when you have other verbs and when you have the verb to be because of the how they function right because the verb to be functions differently from the others and look at this other verbs. Example: It, have, use, they, go, drive, get, work. But we have all of the verbs in the world that exist. Okay, we have a one hundred, one thousands of verbs here. Okay, so we have after the subject and before the main verb. Okay, what is always? after the subject and before the member in the middle right between between the subject and the member what is the main verb here wake up okay so you have the sequence subject frequency other member and complement i always wake up early Okay, in the verb to be, you have the frequency of immediately after the verb to be. For example, you say, I am always early. Okay, of course, here I am giving you an example. You can have all of the frequency adverbs in this position. Okay, you can say, I rarely wake up early. And here you can say, I am readily early at work. Here you can say at work to complement something, right? So this is the normal position. Now we end the presentation because we are gonna go to the, to practice with the videos, okay? Can you please go to your, to your WhatsApp? And we are going to watch a video explaining more of this. Okay, watch the video. And the WhatsApp. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, who said good evening? Solamente, eh, las disculpas, teacher, estoy ahorita. Ah, eh, inyectando, la mi, inyectando a mi mami, sí, y cambiándola, y ya voy a poder irme para mi casa. Oye, ya voy a encender mi camarita y ya voy a, a, a participar en la clase. Ok. Gracias. Ok, Ana.
Okay, I guess that you finished because I began after you and I already finished. Now I'm going to send you another link in the WhatsApp in this moment and you practice the exercises and see the score. See the score, score el puntaje, right? Ready? Ready, 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 no. Because I see your faces, I guess you finish. <laughs> what was your score, Evelyn? Eran diez preguntas, va. Sí, uh -huh. aún me falta el fichero, ya casi terminé. Ah, ok. Thank you, Graciela. Ready? Yes. ¿Cuántas de cuántas? 10 to 10. 
Ah. Sí. Ahí cuando se dice tantas de tantas es el número y se ocupa la frase out o que pronunciado rápido es out of. Out, out of. Por eh, ejemplo, 10 out of 10. Okay, out of 10. Pero díganme ustedes ahí en español. 10, 10 de 10. 10 de 10. Ok, Rosalí. Aún no termina todo, teacher. Ah, ok. En Sara, que ya es. Se ve que le está costando. <risa> eh, six out of ten. Six. 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 Yes. Ah, ah, pues sí, tenía razón. <risa> no sé, ya. Yes. Más que todo ahí le está midiendo la posición del adverbio, va. Y de la sí, misma vez, la, son, el orden de la oración. Uh -huh. Como la fórmula que dio hace poco, ¿verdad? Esa teníamos uh -huh. que ver. Sí. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. Claudia Marcela, are you in the class? Sorry, I help my son to brush her his teeth. De casualidad no se le cayó el teléfono. No. Ah, así, así se vio. Una tía sufre. No, para. No tiene que estar ahí, está pero mira. Did you finish everybody? Finish teacher. By the way. Five of them. Five of them, Rosalie. And what was the major difficulty? ¿Dónde sintió que le costó? Que casi no le entiendo. La verdad, se trata de, de, como de, de, eh, Decirlo en español, la, la frase o la pregunta, y no sé, la, cuando vi la respuesta fue como, no sé. Pero sí voy a seguir este, como que leyendo bien lo que, a dónde usar el, 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 este, las palabras de, de la frecuencia, el adverbio Ajá, de frecuencia. Pues sí, como vimos, uh -huh. eran dos posiciones, lo voy a volver a presentar. Ok. Ok, si tiene otro, usted otro verbo, ¿verdad? Que no es el verbo to be, es exactamente en medio del sujeto y el verbo. 
si en el presente simple, porque está el presente simple. Okay. En medio del sujeto y el verbo. Si es el verbo to be, es después del verbo to be. I am always. I am sometimes. I am usually. ¿Y en las preguntas? En las preguntas, así como estaba en el... En el, ¿cómo se llama? En el video. Permítame. Quiero ver este, así. Questions, questions, questions. Let me see. Okay. Unas preguntas, pero del otro verbo, pa. How often do you usually wake up? Early. I always do this. Okay. How often do you usually? Aquí en la pregunta siempre es de aquí en esa posición, ¿verdad? En la pregunta, how often? Y si he de sí o no, do you usually wake up early? En la decisión no, ¿verdad? Es aquí inmediatamente después del sujeto. ¿verdad? O sea, antes del verbo. Antes del verbo sería, how often do you usually wake up early? Do you usually wake up early? Lástima que no se pueda compartir. Wait a minute, please. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How is this? I am. Okay, doing this. Okay, me vieron todo. <laughs> Me metí en eso. Voy a, ver, voy, a, voy a entrar en el sitio. Lástima que no lo puedo compartir aquí porque es un sitio de web y un, lo sancionan. Ok, vamos a ver uno por uno. Vea, veamos. Y ahí me dicen ustedes. El número uno. Which sentence is correct? Estaba, our teacher is often late. Our teacher often is late. Is often our teacher late? Often our teacher is late. <laughs> ok. ¿Cuál seleccionaron ahí? Y que le salió bien, ¿verdad? Our teacher is often late. Mm -hmm. Ok, entonces aquí... Con el verbo to be también tenía que haber hecho una pregunta aquí, ¿verdad? Allí sería our teacher es el sujeto, ¿verdad? Entonces va de inmediatamente después del sujeto. Así en la pregunta, ¿verdad? Entonces allí sería, is our teacher, ninguna, ¿verdad? Ahí era la número, U, la le, letra A, ¿verdad? Ese escogieron. ¿A los que les salieron bien? Sí. Yes. Vayan me ayudando, por favor, los que les salieron bien, díganme, para ahorrar tiempo, ¿ok? Number two, which sentence is correct? Never we eat fast food. We eat never fast food. We eat fast food never. We never eat fast food. Letter, the answer is letter. We never eat fast food. Letter, letter D. 
Vaya, porque acuérdense de que siempre va en medio del sujeto y del verbo, ¿ok? En oraciones afirmativas que no son el verbo to be. ¿Ok, Rosalí? Vaya, ahora veamos el tres. Number three, which sentence is correct? My father doesn't hardly ever watch football on TV. My father watches hardly ever football on TV. Okay, and my father watches football on TV hardly ever. My father hardly ever watches football on TV. Letter, letter D. Letter D, D. Yeah. O B. Letter D no, no puede ser porque... Letter D. D. Porque D. tiene que quedar en medio del sujeto y el verbo. ¿no? Ajá, otra vez era el D, ¿verdad? ¿Está bien? Yes. ¿Qué le salió bien? Yes, please. Help yes, me, yes. help me, help me. Ok, number four. Which sentence is correct? Do often, ahí ya desde el principio estaba mal, ¿verdad? do often, Nadie, no comienza una pregunta así, do often. Do you often go to the cinema? Yes, it can be. Letter B. Do you Letter often go to the cinema? Do you go often to the cinema? Do you go to the cinema often? What is the answer you say? Letter B. Letter B, exactly. Después del sujeto, ¿verdad? Va en preguntas. Um, vaya. Which sentence is correct? He usually doesn't go to bed late. He doesn't go to bed late usually. He doesn't usually go to bed late. Does he usually lay to bed? Oh, hay unas que están super malas. ¿va? What is the answer? <laughs> Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. He doesn't usually go to bed late. Okay, ¿y le salió buena? Yes. Yes. Ok, entonces, ¿cuál de, entonces, si la letra C es la correcta, entonces sería inmediatamente después de la negación, ¿verdad? He doesn't. Doesn't or don't. Y luego va el... Veamos aquí. Porque yo solo les puse de afirmativas. Podemos poner he, he doesn't usually go to bed early. He doesn't usually go to bed early. As an example, right? I'm sorry, lo puse, pero no lo compartí. Okay. Look. Okay, here he doesn't usually go to bed early. Ah, oh, well, here is late, but I put early. And here is usually, right? Next. Number six, which sentence is correct? I every week have piano lessons. I have every week piano lessons. I have piano lessons every week. I every week have piano lessons. Aquí no hay ningún frecuenciador, pero tiene un time expression que le enseñé la semana pasada. Y entonces les quedó, ¿cuál era el bueno? Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Porque dijimos que los time expressions Van al final. Si se fijaron en el video de WhatsApp, ¿qué les explicó? Que hay definite, definite eh, frequency adverbs en indefinite frequency adverbs. Los que vimos la semana pasada, no les, no les di esa categoría, pero esos son los definite. Definite porque me dicen a mí exactamente el tiempo. ¿va? Por ejemplo, every week me está diciendo que cada semana. ¿va? Entonces los indefinite 
son los frequency adverbs que vimos hoy. Porque no me, solo expresan frecuencias, no dicen si es una semana o qué, ¿verdad? Sino que así lo dejan al, que usted imagine cuánto tiempo. Ok, um, number, number six. We sentence is correct. They always are very tired after the match. Uh, they are always very tired after the match. They are very tired after the match, always. Always they are very tired after the match. The answer is... Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B porque el frequency after va inmediatamente después del verbo to be. Ok. Piense bien cuando es verbo to be, cuando no es verbo to be. Ok. Letter 8. Which sentence is correct? We always have breakfast at home. Always we have breakfast at home. We have always breakfast at home. And we have breakfast at home always. The obvious answer is... <clears throat> Letter A. Letter A. Porque con otros verbos es, está inmediatamente después del sujeto y antes del verbo. O en otras palabras está en medio del sujeto y el verbo. Number A. Nine. Which sentence is correct? She doesn't wear jeans often. She often doesn't wear jeans. Often she doesn't wear jeans. She doesn't often wear jeans. Letter D. Letter D. Ok, she doesn't often wear jeans. Inmediatamente del negativo, ¿verdad? Si es tercera persona, del doesn't. Y si es de otras personas, do, después del don't. Number 10. Which sentence is correct? Are you sometimes tired at the end of the class? This is a question. Uh, are sometimes you tired at the end of the class? Are you tired sometimes at the end of the class? You are sometimes tired at the end of the class? The obvious answer here is? Letter A. Letter A. Porque en, aún en preguntas de otro verbo, y en, siempre va después del sujeto. Okay? En preguntas siempre va después del sujeto. En negaciones va después de la partícula don't or doesn't. Y en oraciones afirmativas con otro verbo va en, en medio del sujeto y el verbo. Y en verbo to be después del verbo to be. Más o menos ahí, ¿verdad? Es cuestión de practicar. Bueno, eso vamos. Let's go to practice in the manual. Okay, everybody, let's listen to the conversation. Look at this woman. She's like me, right? Well, like you too. Okay? We are always in front of a computer. I am always in front of a computer. All the time, my computer is my friend. Okay, how does it say? Listen. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Okay, the first I read, I read and you answer these two questions. Okay, do it. Mira, mamá, mi pulsera también. Mamá.
Okay, guys, give me the answers. And then number one, how often does Anne um, check her email? She always, two hours. Two hours. Two hours. Every two hours. She always check her. Every two hours. Every two hours is the answer. Yes, every two hours. Okay, here, why it is important to check the email every day? Because it's important to have contact with the client all the time. To have contact with clients all the time. Okay, the answer is here at the end of the sentence where you say, Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Okay, here is the answer. Because it is important to have contact with them or with clients, because them is clients all the time. Okay, now practice the conversation because we need to do it. Okay, everybody repeat, wait a minute, I have to erase this. Okay, everybody repeat. How often do you check your email? 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 Every two hours, and you? Every two hours, and you? Well, well, I try to check it as often as I can. I try to check it as I try to check it as often as I can. Uh -huh. And how often do you call your clients? And how often do you call clients? I often call them once a week on Monday. I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Do you call clients? Yes. 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 I always call them first thing in the morning. I always, I always call them always first, call them first in thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. I believe it is important to have contact with them. With them all the time. You are right. You are okay. right. Yeah. You are right. Okay, only to check pronunciation. Let me see who is Marixa. Marixa and Susana, are you in your house now? Okay, no, she sent. Yes, Susana. Sí, también aquí yes. estoy. Okay, Susana. Okay, Marisa. Sí, aquí estoy. Marisa, you are John. And Susana, you are Anne. Okay, I need you you read it because I need to see if he is correct the pronunciation. Okay. Begin. Mm -hmm. How often do you check your mail? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check. Is, is check it, uh, check it. 
Wait, I, I try, try to, to check, check it, it. All, as often as I can. As I can. And how, and how often do you call your client? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call, call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them, with them all the time. You are right. Okay, in general, I consider it's okay. O sea, ustedes son los tipos la, las muestras que tomo para ver uh -huh. si más o menos cómo anda. Okay, um, vaya, ahora le voy a explicar. Yo no sé si la semana pasada hicimos esto. Fíjense como el curso anterior terminó un poco así. No se tardó mucho en empezar este. Entonces no me acuerdo si con ustedes no hice esa práctica. Déjenme ver si la hicimos. Que ustedes entraron a hacer la conversación, pero yo les cambié unas tres o cuatro veces pareja. ¿Ya la hicimos? No. Vaya, entonces eh, la vamos a hacer. Esa conversación la van a hacer con la pareja que queden. Luego les, se las cambio. Y la hacen con la otra que entra. Y luego con otra. Unas tres o cuatro veces. Pero traten de hacerlo rápido para que cuando yo ya las cambie, ya estén con otra. Eh, ya la hayan terminado, mejor dicho. Ok, so let's go. Let's go. You are.
Sí, che, quedé sola. <risa> es que se me salió una, fíjense, se me salió alguien. Sí, anda a ver. Cuando se sale alguien así, me dejan así este problema. Ok, solo entré para, Ay, no, para avisarle, ya voy. <risa> Sí, porque no terminamos con, eh, empezando, digamos, con uno cuando venía el otro.
Hello, se me corrió una. A ver quién, no me, ya voy a ver quién es. ¿Qué es tu dicha? Eh, alguien se me salió y me dejó sola a salí en una, en una de esas vueltas. Ya hace sueños, ¿eh? Está bien, dicha, se dejaron sola un rato. Ok. Eh, va, ok. Se fue a dormir la que se fue, pues. <ríe> ok, let's continue with this. Ok, we explain this and let's go to this. Ok. Uh, look at the chart. Complete a list of your activities that you do in a regular week. Then write the activities next to the word that best describe how often do you do these activities. But I, aquí está entre A y B, va, pero ustedes hablan en solo. Okay, always pongan una actividad que siempre hacen. Often, una que hacen con frecuencia. Sometimes, algunas veces, hardly ever, casi nunca, and never, nunca. Okay, do it. Ya vi quién fue, fue Doris. Teacher, una pregunta, eran actividades cotidianas o solo en el trabajo? Permítame, Marvin, voy a hacer una pregunta a los demás, a ver qué me dicen. ¿Escucharon a Marvin así que habló? 
que no se le escuchó bien. Se sí, le escuchó sí, yo pensé que era mi se le escuché cortado. Pensé que era yo también el internet. Ah, <risa> ah, pues sí, fue usted, Marvin. Ok. No, Ajá. que si las actividades eran del trabajo o actividades generales. Mm, eh, sí, se ve que no dice la, pero como dice, activities in your regular week, aquí incluyen de ambas. Okay. Como el Thank trabajo de su vida casi. <risa> de alguno. Padre. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Solo llegan a dormir. Are you, are you ready? Ready. Ready, ready, ready. Okay, I'm gonna stop the sharing and, um, okay. All of you are going to read your sentence, all of you. Okay, according to the order of the, of your camera, <laughs> no order of the list of the camera. Guillermo, you are the number one. Okay, teacher. I always brush my teeth. I often go to the supermarket. I sometimes uh, go to the church. I hardly ever write a letter. 
And I never have breakfast too late. Never. You never have breakfast late, but you always have breakfast. Yes. Mm, okay. Uh, Kathy, continue. Okay. I always grab at 6 a.m. I open to work by bus. I sometimes have conferences. I hardly ever have breakfast. I never meet my time to level the work. Okay. So you have conferences. Do you have conferences? Really? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, the, that's why the Padre Arupe is a, an excellent institution. They prepare uh, teachers. Uh, I work in laboratory style. <laughs> ah, you don't work in a... You don't work at the Padre Arupe? No. <laughs> Uy, todo ese tiempo yo creí que sí. You work in a lab. Are you a chemistry? Or are you an yes. engineer? Scientist. Cosa seria, va. No me hubiera imaginado. Okay, continue, continue. Uh, the one that I think is ready, Claudia. Sorry, Claudia, but if you think that you cannot participate, tell me. Yes, I always take a shower in the morning. I often have breakfast at home. I sometimes could cook at home. I hardly ever go to the gym. And I never go to bed early. Thank you. Now, uh, Sarah? Uh, I always check my email. Uh, I often go to the gym. I sometimes take call at work. I rarely have a meeting. I never use the microwave. Never, never. So you are... But you don't have a in microwave. Gore, in Gore. <laughs> Never. Ah, at work. Okay. In your house every day. Yes. And my house is uh, often. Often. Okay. Evelyn? A wise review person. Often review production. Plummeting to maintenance. Early ever I clean and never I make invoice. Okay, and the number four, si no estoy equivocada, la número cuatro me usó primero el frequency advert antes del sujeto. Revisa. Early ever I clean. Ajá, ahí fue. Entonces sería I hardly ever. I hardly ever clean. Okay, mm -hmm. Correct, please. Okay, Graciela. It's your turn. Read them. I always take a shower in the morning. I often call to my mom. I sometimes sleep in the bus. I hardly ever wake up at 8 a.m. And I never wear hats. Don't tell me you used to sleep in, in the bus. <laughs> yes, sometimes. Que antes no le han robado. No le han robado. O sea, hay una diferencia en no la han robado o no le han robado. Okay. <laughs> no sé cómo utilizar palabras, esas palabras en inglés. Pero salvadoreñamente hablando, ya me han carteriado, pero nunca. Solo una vez fue con violencia, pero fue la única vez. Y ahí, gracias a Dios, no. Ok, yo, a mí me han, bueno, así despierta, va, porque como usted estamos hablando de dormida. 
a mí despierta, me han robado de todas las maneras que usted se puede imaginar, con pistola, con cuchillo, ¿sí? de todo. <risa> bueno, no había dicho esa palabra, una de las que dije, oh my God. Bueno, eh, ok, continuo. Rosalí. <risa> I always get up at five o'clock. I often eat out. I sometimes go by bus to work. I hardly ever do exercise. I never go to the gym. Ah, oh, sorry. The gym is very exciting. I don't like. I always go to the gym. <laughs> okay, you don't like it. Anyway. Okay, Marvin. I always take a shower at five o'clock. I often do exercise. I sometimes go to the bar. I hardly ever cook in my house. I never get late to work. Okay, one private question, Marvin, are you married? Are you married? Or are you single? Are uh, single. I am single. Ah, no, no problem. No problem. Because <laughs> if you were married, yeah. hardly ever cook. No, <laughs> you always cook if you are married. <laughs> okay, yeah. cool. Next is Marlon. Okay, I always check my emails. I often speak in group. Um, sometimes send some for, for USA. I hardly ever write a report of product. Uh, I never sleep in the world. Okay, good, good job, Marlon. I like it the way that you participate now. And that is good, you never sleep at work. Okay, <laughs> always. Always energetic, right? Raquel? I, I always check my emails. I often check my social network. And sometimes could for my family. I heard the ever dress in the afternoon. I never repair computer. Okay, <clears throat> thank you. Susana? Isamar? Okay, que chupar la presidencia ahorita, por favor. Okay. I always have a leg lunch. I open exercise. My doctor usually goes to bed early. I don't have breakfast sometimes. And I never sleep well. We, we. Okay, the number four you use sometimes at the end. Fíjense de que no es que necesariamente es obligación usar al final eh, eh, en esa posición. Algunas veces se puede decir al final, pero más que todo son time, pero enfatizando, o sea, como aclarando. Es una excepción. Ok. okay. Yo no es que esté del todo mal, pero sí, ahorita sí lo estamos practicando después del sujeto. Oiga, esa más. Ok. Eh, Marisa. I always go to the work. I often watch TV. I sometimes listen music. I hardly ever organize meetings. I never play football. Okay, Fatima Fayola. I always get, get up at four o'clock. I often go to the bed at 10 p.m. I sometimes talk with take my breakfast. I hardly ever 
do exercise and I never take a nap in the week. Okay, you say that you go to bed at 10. You often go to bed at 10 p.m. So immediately finish the, cl the class, you go to bed. Yes, teacher. Quizás allá está en la cama ahorita. Yes. El teléfono y a dormir. Yes. Okay, guys, eh, no sé si va a quedar tiempo para la otra actividad, pero tratemos de hacerlo lo más antes posible. Okay, eh, next is. Okay, this is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The next is you write questions. Wait a minute, please, wait a minute, wait a minute. A veces no hay que hacer con esta cajita de... Okay, in this, you write the question. How often do you, and then you ask by uh, about five, uh, six activities. Mi consejo es de que no escriba toda la respuesta, solo ponga la actividad, así como aquí, have meetings. Y usted ya sabe que va a ser la pregunta, ¿va? how often do you, y lo complementa. Entonces después le vamos a hacer estas tres preguntas a tres, tres compañeros. Ok, do it please. Fíjense de que siempre este, voy a llamar a Doris y ella siempre me sale antes. Así que siempre me... No pasa ella. Entonces, me... Fátima. Fátima, Fátima. Here, teacher. You, it's your turn today. Okay. The first question. Son seis, pero no, o sea, estoy hablando, Fátima es el, el turno que se quede. Ah, ok, teacher. <laughs> ok, no, ok, son seis preguntas, ¿verdad? pero esta no me la va a hacer a mí, no que la va a hacer a un compañero en el breakout room. Ok, teacher.
Ana Cristina. Ya está en casa, Ana Cristina. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Ya. ¿Ya va a participar? Sí, con gusto, teacher. Si me explica, porque venía manejando, voy llegando a mi casa, se me descargó el teléfono, por eso me salí un momento. Ah, pero usted escuchó toda la explicación de la clase. No? Toda no, teacher, porque cuando me pidió por, eh, opine, o sea, participar en lectura, pues yo estaba ocupadita con mi mami, ¿verdad? Por eso no podía, no podía contestar, pero he estado escuchando que han estado ocupando el always, el, um, ¿cuál es el otro? Usually. Vaya, ahorita vamos a entrar a un grupo donde van a entrar cuatro y, y van a hacer las preguntas. Este, okay. Vaya aquí, por ejemplo, how often do you, y tienen que hacer la pregunta, how often do you have meetings? Y le van a hacer esa pregunta a usted, entonces usted va okay. a decir, I usually or I always. Entonces solo escriban aquí el nombre y póngale always, porque no va a haber mucho tiempo estar escribiendo oraciones, serían demasiadas. Solo pongan el, el frequency adverb, always or never or Usually, como le contesten. Okay. I usually, si le dicen I usually, entonces usually. Ok. Entonces, ¿En primera persona o en tercera? No, o sea, si solo el frequency ah, Porque bueno. no va a haber tiempo de que escriba la oración. Ok. Si yo ya les pregunto, entonces ahí ya me tienen que decir, ¿verdad? Entonces, digamos, aquí pusieron Ana. Ana, y usted dijo aquí, always. Entonces sería Ana. Ana. Always have meetings. ¿Va? Ok. Así quedaría si me lo leen. Ok. Ok. Now let's go. Let's go to the recovery rooms. Let me see. Cuatro. Serían cuatro grupos. What's your problem, Marvin? No sé, teacher. Este... Se me ha quedado en el grupo 2. Mm, quizás, pero quizás no me ahí. pareció que... Quizás no le... No le no... Mm. Quizás no le ha parecido... No, como la... Le falló el internet en lo que... Quizás, teacher, ¿por qué Solo me apareció cargando y de ahí me apareció aquí otra vez. Quizá voy a, voy a, voy a, voy a volver a crearlos. Ay, no, pero es que esta no me da la, no me da la opción. Vamos a ver. Ok. Como las oraciones, pues, son muchas. Ella dijo que solo pusiéramos como Ajá. la palabra. Y miren, aquí solo me quedaron tres, oigan, así que solo pongan el de dos. ¿Ok? Ok. okay.
how often uh, do you how often do you have meeting? Con Maritza, por ejemplo. Never. Y a Maritza no responde. Uh -huh. I never have meeting. Fíjense de que aquí en este grupo lo me quedo de tres, así que ustedes solo van a llenar dos casillas. Ahí hay para tres, pero ustedes lo van a llenar dos. Bueno. Ok, okay. Con, con cada palabra, teacher. Usually always. Y sí, como ahí dice name, tres estudiantes, ¿verdad? Name, name, name. Entonces, solo, digamos, usted solo le quedaría Sara y Maritza. Uh -huh. Solo el de dos, ok. Ya. Ok. Mm, usually, <laughs> usually, and how often do you cook for your family? Always, <laughs> and how often do you go to the beach? Rosalie, how often do you have salary increase? Salary increase. Interesting question. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> no entiendo muy bien la pregunta. Okay. How often do you have Salary increase. Your salary, your salary increase. increase. The question is for who? Susana, for whom is the question? Perdón. Para quién es la pregunta? Ahorita para Rosalie. Ah, Rosalie. Okay. Le aumentan el salario, Rosalía. Incremento salarial. Ah, ah salary no. increase. Y a ti no le entiendo esa palabra. Este. Never. Tanto, Never. tanto así es que no la, no, ella no entiende esa palabra porque como nunca lo hace. Nunca la hemos ocupado. <risa> Okay, Marvin, how often do you have salary? I ne never. Never. And Graciela? Never. Hardly either. I don't listen, Graciela. She says, "Howly ever, howly ever." Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Hardly, howly. How much? Howly ever. Eh, the meaning is "casi nunca." Ah, howly okay. ever or readily. Uh -huh. Primeras el baile sería I always have meeting eh, uh -huh. have meeting once a week on Monday. Y eh, Ana, Ana, yo por cuestión del tiempo solo dije que solo pusieran la frecuencia alfa. Sí, no, yo solo estaba diciéndole que yo sí tenía todo. Ya puse el de Sara y el de Maritza, ya está. Ok, uh -huh. finish everybody. Yes. Pero tenemos las otras seis, nos faltan las otras seis. No, cinco. Pero ya son las diez. 
Solo preguntamos, teacher, how often do you have meeting? Miren, voy a, a castigar a Sara. Voy a terminar hoy a las 10 y 10. Sí, ya, <ríe> ya he hecho eso. No, 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 pero los estudiantes me lo han, me lo han aprobado. Pero no, no, no estoy molestando, o sea. Ok. I get up at 6 p.m. Late, uh, tomorrow. Yo le gano, yo me levanto a las 4. Yo le gano, yo no duermo nada. Ah. No. <risa> <risa> ok. Eh, bueno. Bueno. Ah, hasta donde quieren aquí, yo creo que sí, ya estuvo. Bueno. Maritza Never Meeting. Maritza Never Meeting. Uh -huh. Hello, Fatima. Hello, teacher. No sé, me va a quedar, va. Solo voy a cerrar ahorita la clase. Y... Nos queda. Ok, teacher. Okay, Guillermo, you are the lucky one. I selected you to give me the report. <laughs> okay, uh, because of the time, only Guillermo is going to say the results. <laughs> okay, read your partners, but remember that you have to say the sentence, right? Yes. Okay, do it. Um, the first one is how often do you go to the church? And their answer is sometimes and always. No, 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 Guillermo. You have to tell me the sentence. Who says sometimes? Um, in the home. So not be that number. No, dijo Karina. Karina. Evelyn, Karina. Evelyn. So say. Evelyn, Evelyn sometimes. And the other one was Marlon. Okay, I get that Guillermo has problems. Okay, so no, Guillermo. Tomorrow I'm going to ask you again. Now go uh, finish the class. Okay, have a nice night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Ah, and Sarah bye. is happy. Bye bye. See you. Bye. Ajá, Fátima Fabiola. Hi, teacher. Eh, usted no, no le funciona su cámara. Sí, había tenido problemas, pero ya cambié 
me prestaron otra computadora. ¿Y usted siente de que en cel como en celular eso casi no, no falla? Dice de que hay una forma de conectarse en computadora y a la misma vez el teléfono. Sí, no es que mi teléfono no tiene Zoom y no, no tengo tanto espacio para descargarlo, entonces por eso generalmente ocupo computadora. Sí, porque hay que tener Zoom en el teléfono para hacer eso. Ajá, la aplicación. Ajá, para hacer que como a veces la cámara no funciona de la computadora y uno le pone, el conect, se conecta con ambos dispositivos y usa el, la computadora y la cámara del teléfono. Eso se, eso se puede hacer, pero como se dice que no tiene espacio para descargar Zoom. Ni modo, ¿verdad? Pero con solo que esté participando siempre. Este, Sí, sí. vaya, dígame eh, qué le quedó de dudas de la clase de hoy. Y sé solo cómo hacer las preguntas. Las preguntas, vaya, este, Ajá. yo, yo al final, si se fijó, como el objetivo no era en preguntas, o sea, por eso no las puse, pero al final las, las terminé poniendo porque hubo ahí un ejercicio que las implicó, voy a, voy a compartirle. Vaya, vea. Aquí veamos. Vaya, aquí está toda clase de preguntas. Si usted la hace con lo que le llamamos WH question, lo que le llamamos con yes no question y lo con el verbo to be. La pregunta principal que estuvimos practicando era how often, ¿verdad? How, how often do you? Y no le decíamos, no le poníamos este, esta, ¿verdad? Usually, porque eso es lo que queremos saber. Pero si, ¿con qué frecuencia tú usualmente te... Entonces aquí esta pregunta, sí, la verdad es que yo no la siento que, que sea tan... La voy a quitar. que creo que aún en el ejercicio no está porque la pregunta quiere que usted le responda la frecuencia en cambio esta de sí o no esta de sí o no eh, usted dice si sí, sí o no de que lo hace a esa hora ¿va? o temprano por ejemplo do you usually y después del sujeto es que quedaba el, el adverbio de frecuencia Igual con el verbo to be. Si se fijó, teníamos la regla de cómo quedaba el adverbio de frecuencia con los con el verbo to be y otros verbos. ¿va? Otros verbos y el verbo to be era diferente porque con otros verbos el adverbio de frecuencia me queda antes del verbo. Pero con el verbo to be me queda después del verbo to be. Ahí había diferencia, pero en el, las preguntas no. Siempre me queda después del sujeto. Do you usually? Is our teacher often late? Y aquí podría haber puesto yo usually, mire. Cualquiera hubiera puesto, hubiera podido poner. Is your teacher usually late? Aquí también igual podría haber puesto otra. Do you always wake up early? Entonces sería, te levantas siempre temprano. Es tu profesor siempre, está tu profesor siempre tarde. Aquí podríamos poner en class, podemos decir, para aumentarle más el sentido. Y your teacher usually late in class. Está tu profesor usualmente tarde en clase. Entonces, en preguntas, así es que queda después del sujeto. No lo puse antes así a practicar con algo porque la clase no incluía preguntas, solo oraciones. Okay. Pero más o menos ya se fijó dónde es que tiene que quedar en preguntas. Sí, Oh. teacher. Ahora sí ya.
Este, Sí, soy el, relator. eh, ¿Usted hizo, ya hizo la tarea de la plataforma? Sí, ya había estado trabajando. Y las pudo contestar Toda la... bien. Lo de, la de hoy. La de hoy De hoy. ya la hizo. ¿Sí? Fíjese que había trabajado el fin de semana. Pero con En la la de hoy de no. esta semana. Veamos la, la tarea. Veámosla. Permítame, ya se la comparto. Yo sí la contesté. <ríe> es que para poder este explicar a veces es necesario que uno la, la llene antes. Veamos. Vaya, la, era de que usted seleccione la respuesta, va. Aquí tiene el, el pero sí hay pregunta, va. Bueno, pero la cosa es de que es la pregunta es la que nosotros hemos estado estudiando, ¿verdad? How often. Porque no, how seldom no decimos, ni how many, porque no es de cantidad, sino que es de frecuencia. De Sí. how often es el que se ocupa para preguntar aquí, va. How often do you go to the dentist? Así como la pregunta de la última práctica, ¿va? Todos eran con how often. How often porque para preguntar frecuencia, esa es la que se Oh. usa, how often. Vaya aquí, she, y aquí, ¿cuál sería? Never, no, nunca va, nunca se pone de nice en never. Every day, no, porque aprendimos que every day es al final, va. Entonces la que le tocaba aquí obligadamente era always. She always, va, porque dijimos que el adverbio de frecuencia quedaba entre el sujeto y el verbo, va. Y my doctor doesn't, aquí en negativo dijimos que era después del negativo, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí sería, eh, ¿cuál, pero cuál? ¿Cuál sería más? Bueno, yo, la, yo sé, había la respuesta, va. Eh, ahí tendría que ser según el contexto, va, porque dice, my doctor doesn't always smoke. Entonces aquí quedaba usual. Mhm. Mm Usually, okay. La número cuatro, <coughs> tenía que fijarse si el, como es el verbo to be, después tiene que quedar el adverbio, ¿verdad? Entonces sería este, porque este no es al revés, ¿ve? Y este con don a mamá, Sí. <laughs> El número cinco es, how often do you go to the beach? Y la respuesta es, ay, entonces lo mismo, ¿verdad? La misma... Podía haber usted puesto never, rarely o usually, pero por el contexto ajá, por el contexto, cabal, usted lo dijo. Con el contexto se decía que era usually. Ok, vaya, entonces espero sí, teacher. que ya me quedó claro vaya, pues thank you teacher eso sería todo, Fátima. Have a nice night. thank you teacher have a nice day